We're learning some new information this evening about a new state law involving electric bikes. A bill signed by the governor this week requires the CHP to develop statewide safety standards and training for e-bike users. Armisha DeBono is live in Carlsbad with the details. Misha, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. You know, concern about e-bike safety, especially when it comes to teenagers and kids, has been mounting. We've all seen the little packs of kids as they bomb the hill or maybe two and three kids on a bike. Well, hopefully this uh, new law will help educate all of us and give some more tools to law enforcement. We're seeing massive increases every single year in how many people are riding them. And so some more funding for uh, a training program is going to make a huge impact. Electric bikes have moved well beyond a trend and are clearly not only here to stay, but growing exponentially. E-bikes are amazing for kids, definitely. I think they have given so many kids around San Diego a new kind of freedom. But with that freedom comes responsibility and now safety training and education. Governor Gavin Newsom on Monday signed a bill that will provide funds to the California Highway Patrol to develop statewide standards for e-bike safety. This bill is asking CHP to create a training program that will be available online. So any school um, could use that. A statement put out by the bill's author, State Assembly Member Tasha borner Harvath, says while the majority of bicyclists follow the rules of the road, cities have seen an increase of preteens and teenagers breaking rules and engaging in dangerous behavior. It goes on to say without statewide safety education and training standards, local authorities are faced with addressing e-bike safety concerns without direction or tools to educate riders. Will Radigan is the advocacy director for the San Diego Bicycle Coalition. He hopes this is just the beginning. Yes, trying to get this into schools, following this up with another bill that would require some kind of e-bike education in the schools would be really powerful. And not just e-bike education, I should say, but general bike education. CHP has until September 2023 to initiate initiate the program. And we did reach out to CHP. They tell us that they are working on it and hopefully in the next few days they'll have at least a bit of uh, next steps as they uh, get ready to create this program. Again, the deadline is September 2023. From Carlsbad, Misha DeBono. Fox 5 News. All right, Misha, not too far from where you're standing right now. A lot of people who live in Carlsbad are expected to speak out during a Carlsbad City Council meeting tonight about e-bike safety in their neighborhood. And this comes after a Carlsbad mother was killed while riding her e-bike with her 16-month-old daughter on the back a little more than a week ago. Police say a woman driving that white Toyota SUV collided with 35-year-old Christine Hawk Embry, who died from her injuries. Their daughter, Delilah, did not have any major injuries from the collision, but the widowed husband, a firefighter, had just spoken at a city council meeting last month asking for more to be done to slow speeding drivers in that area. And now those speaking tonight are doing so in support of him.